you can see, Dave built a beautiful table for my sewing machine. And it needs to be finished. So that is what I am going to work on today. It is the sturdiest. Press on it. He built it so that it fits my machine. He took a template and made this beautiful, beautiful table, sewing table for me. So, roll the intro and then you can see how I'm going to finish this. from the Creative Wandering Duo and as you can see from the uh, previous little blurb, the introduction, um, Dave had, has built me a table that fits around my machine and now I get to finish it. So I am going to verifying this so that my fabric will slide across it fairly smoothly, I hope. So first thing I have to do is take a new cloth and wipe all the dust off.
dries fairly quickly. <coughs> but because I'm going to be turning this to the other side to verify, I really want these bottoms of these pegs, legs, to be covered and dry before I turn it over. And it'll soak up a lot on the first coat. I'll probably put about four coats on. it the first coat is done now what I'm going to do with this brush is I'm just going to tuck it into a plastic bag because I'm going to use it again and I don't need to clean it just yet and because it's very thin it's water cleanup which is nice I don't have to use any chemicals so I can set that aside close that up and clean up any splatters I have with water. But you can already see the grain of the wood coming out. It's a satin finish, so it's not going to be really shiny. It's just going to be nice. The other thing that Dave built is a tray, and this fits on my stove, on the stove top, and I have to figure out how to finish it. Kind of wondering if I should put a decal inside here saying something, I'm not sure what kind of a saying, and then uh, maybe wood burn it in um, and hand paint it, or um, just finish it off and finish it off with bare thing afterwards but this will be handy for taking things out to the patio in the summertime to barbecue have our lunch and uh, it also covers up the burners on the stove so that it makes that look more finished 
so what do you think of that? Anyway, if you've got ideas, let me know. I'm not going to make you watch the paint or the barathane dry. Okay, Dave reminded me that on this end here, I don't know if you can see that brown line in there. And on this side, there's a brown line. Those are sap pockets. So to get those out of there, I have to apply heat. So we're going to take a cotton cloth, put that over. iron and try and pull some of that sap out of there. We want to withdraw that otherwise it will come out after it dries and uh, yeah that'll get on the fabric and I don't really want that on fabric. So it's best to pull it out now. Pull as much of it out as we can. And even though I've got a couple coats of erythane on here, you can still pull that out because it'll come out with four coats of erythane. Erythane will not uh, stop that sap from oozing out of there. all it takes to get rid of a sap pocket. So now we're going to sand this down again and it's just using that cleaning scrubber for dishes or for whatever you want to clean.
course, when you're doing this, the same as with sandpaper, you want to go with the green. Doesn't matter what you're sanding, you always want to go with the green of the wood. soaking in quite as quickly as it was. So we'll have to let that dry before I add the next coat to the top. Love my new table. Thank you, Dave. Just look at this. It just slides across so nice. I can line up my uh, seam way ahead. Isn't that beautiful? I can hardly wait to make some rugs on here. It'll keep it nice and flat. Yeah. See, I've got a, about 12 inches here that I can line up. That is great. Anyway, thank you for joining me. And remember to comment, subscribe. Uh, they all help our channel. And click the like button if you like this video. Um, click the bell. That'll let you know when once you've subscribed and uh, opened up notifications that you can um, you'll be notified when we have a new video come out. Anyway, take care. Stay real.